Welcome one all, my name is Talos and today we are going to hack apart a Praetorian. Now recently I got a hold of a pair of Praetorians from the 30k line, fairly cheap. And I was like, what's the best thing I can do? Well, the best thing I can do with that is to make it my own. Because see, for a lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of things, these are very pre-molded. They're not much you can do about them per se, even the shoulder pads are molded in. So I thought, well, if we start hacking it apart, maybe I can make it a bit more of my own. And since I had a pile of old uh, Dark Angel bits laying around, I decided to do this one up as a Dark Angel's Praetorian. Now, what was not included with this was the building instructions. So I can already figure out on my own how to put together. Fortunately, it's fairly straightforward not particularly much to talk about in the way of how to put it together but yeah I got both versions this is the sword and the bolter version I think it's a bolter at least might be something else and then there is the big axe guy and I'm saving him for another project so yeah after figuring out how things went together which is always important dry fitting it is sort of the bread and butter of things. I put them together, legs and uh, back of the body, uh, making sure that I like the pose. You have a slight room to, to sort of tweak things. But uh, I was not particularly fond of the bolter, or whatever the hell the weapon is. So I decided to modify it a bit. I also took off the tabard from the chest piece because it was annoying me. And it might be weird thinking that I have a dark angle without the robes, but both the cape and the tabard would be going away. Also, remember how I, how I just talked about dry fitting things? Yeah, I promise. I took my own advice. good so far. What did I forget? Yeah, I forgot the tiny little neck piece that's supposed to hold the front of the head in. So, uh, not only did we break the leg off, we also have to do the pop technique to get the front off. An easy mistake to make. But yeah, so far we haven't done too much modifying because this part is actually fairly necessary. The chest is narrower than most Space Marine chests and um, the arms are really odd angles. So my recommendation to you would be to try and keep the core body as standard stock as possible. Also the neck joint is different on these chest pieces rather than the regular chest pieces. But if you're adventurous just hack away. I'm not. So, also, dry fit and test everything. That saves you a lot of trouble. Also, I'm using a uh, super glue this time around because I have run out of plastic glue. A, both a blessing and a curse. It makes things a lot easier. But once things are dry, they are in there. Whether you like it or not. But yeah, so, as I noted, I wanted to take a power fist instead. And again, you could do this carefully, easily, on the sly and easy, with delicate cuts, carefully removing things. Or you just take a clipper and cut something off. Now the Power Fist is from the uh, Deathwing Terminator Sprue. It's a perfect source for good power fists and if it is decent you could always use a bit of modeling putty to make the seam slightly smoother but uh, for intents and purposes it fits fairly straight on even better if you have some plastic glue because that creates a little bit of a joint on its own now going forward we need one of those moles these again power moles are from the dark angels Deathwing uh, Terminator set. 
in my mind, is one of the best terminator sets you can find. Now, I like this sword, but I don't like a sword for this guy. So, I was sort of cut it off from a second. Ah, it didn't really work. It's a very small area out there. So, we get out. Sharp point the implement instead. And then just carefully cut through. The hands, again, match up fairly easily. And it's not much of a problem. Uh, cutting the mace here, I need to roll it, so you do that off camera, because I actually need to roll it off the table, because it's a very steep angle. But again, just cutting hand off and uh, joining the two together. And it's a decent fit. Had I had plastic glue, I wouldn't even need to pin it, technically. But... Um, since we do not have plastic glue right now, we instead pin it. And yeah, I know I did most of this off camera, sorry. Um, my eyesight is not what it used to be, and for this I needed to be very precise because there's a, a very thin it's a very thin handle. But yeah, I would drill them out and uh, glue in a pin to keep them together because the contact area is minuscule. Be careful when you drill out things like this because you do not have much margin of error and if you screw it up, there is no going back. There's no fit. Actually, technically you can just take another longer pin and build the handle up, but that's a lot of extra work. So, he had this sort of thing on his backpack that is really good looking, but it's not that dark angelly. So, we fished out a a kind of backpack banner. I'm not entirely sure how lore accurate this one is the 30k time period, but I'm considering using this guy as just a display piece. So, quite honestly, he could very well just be a regular dude. Because he's in a Artificer power armor, and as we all know, Artificer equals whatever we want to do goes, because, well, it does. At first, I'm trying to change the belt part for a Dark Angels logo could be a bit less subtle with it. But again, we're lacking plastic glue and there was no way to get it to fit smoothly, so that went. Also, it's a bit over the top. Slight bit over the top. Instead, we go for one of the leg pauldrons. I think they're called pauldrons. I don't know, actually. The leg plates. It fits surprisingly well in the middle there. I was also considering a different winged plate, but in the end, we go with the uh, leg pauldron bit. It fits uh, surprisingly well, as long as you don't tip the model forward, upward, looks up the skirt, so to speak, because then there's just a big gap there. We can fill it with putty later if we want to, but right now it's a big gap. Yeah, there you go. We just apply that with some glue. Uh, the head is from the Dark Angels. I think it's from the Dark Angels um, upgrade sprue. It's one of these bus cut angry heads. Perfect for that. So. Now it's just a question of gluing everything together, and as I said, the arms have these bits of armor that makes them see a very specific area. So if you can, use the standard arms, and then attach things onto them, or you green stuff in the things you need. Now, the cloak is not going to be used, because the cloak has the moldings... Mold, have mo moldings? Has molded details for the shoulder pads in them, and I did not like that. This was crazy big. So we're not using that one. We might at some point make our own cape, but for now we're just gonna apply all the bits and pieces. So, I mean, just sticking things together with super glue. It's nothing more than that. And yes, I know he's technically using two power weapons. But again, I would probably treat the power fist as a power shield for rules purposes. I just like the idea of the power fist. It's a big stupid weapon. Now his helmet, uh, I like to have it represented on the model because, well, 
makes sense. So I cut off the neck joint and smoothed out the um, the cut and then carefully glued it onto his hip. But I also realized I need a few other bits first. But that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to glue that back onto his hip later on. Put on the shoulder pads, fairly straightforward. Backpack, fairly straightforward. Not much more to say about that. I mean, it's just backpack. Now, this shoulder pad got changed out because it fell off three times. So by the end, we went with a different shoulder pad design. Just attached a bit of greeblies on the belt to fill out the place where one of the leg plates were because it was a bit flat. It looked a bit. It looked weird simply because it's molded to have a leg plate over it. The other side doesn't suffer as much from this, but this one does. So I put in some greeblies and the helmet, as noted. And with that, our guy is pretty much done. He have a nice base, he has his weapons and looks pretty good. And uh, this will wrap this video up. There's no more to it. Come back next time for the painting of this guy. But until next time, stay safe, be kind, and do, do play fair. Bye.